right, if you're looking to slim down, add these nutritious foods to your diet with no carbs and no sugar. First up is konjac noodles and rice and hearts of palm noodles and rice. So what are their benefits? Well, first of all, these are made from either a root vegetable that originally came from China, the konjac root, or they're made from hearts of palm. The benefits are that they are pretty much all plain old soluble fiber. And if you've listened to me enough, you know that soluble fiber is what your gut buddies prefer to eat. And if you know about our Western diet, there is basically zero soluble fiber in our diet. So the more we can introduce these as a substitute for traditional pasta, for traditional rice, the better you're going to feel, the better your gut buddies are going to feel. And the other great thing about it, there's a really cool theory called the gut-centric theory of hunger. That is, your gut bacteria actually determine your degree of hunger. If they're getting what they want to eat, they basically tell you that you're not hungry, that they've been taken care of. So, the reason this helps you with your hunger, it doesn't fill you up, it doesn't stuff you up, it doesn't expand, it gives them what they like to eat. These are readily available now. You can find them in most of your grocery stores. Trader Joe's has their own variety. They even have Hearts of Palm Rice. Gundry MD makes konjac noodles. They're pretty easy to find. Now, how to prepare them. That's the secret. What you need to do in general is rinse them under water for about a minute. Then I like to put them on a non-stick fry pan under medium heat and stir them around until they start to squeak. The longer you stir them around and the more they squeak, the more they'll lose water and the more pasta-like texture you will get. If you don't do that, you will think they're pretty slimy and you probably won't like them. Now, I've actually got YouTube recipes using these with pad thai, not bad pad thai. And just look it up on YouTube. It's easy to do, and you'll love it if you use my directions. All right, how about celery? Everybody knows that celery basically has negative calories. It takes you more energy to eat it than you will get from celery. Now, if that's the case, why not celery juice? Well, it turns out the benefit of celery is actually in the fiber. This is an incredibly fibrous vegetable. But celery juice has some pretty nasty compounds. In fact, there is a disease called celery picker's disease, where celery pickers get inflammation and literal burns on their hands. So, why would you do something like that? On the other hand, this is a great thing to snack on by itself, but I like to use celery as a dipping chip. And you can use it to dip your guacamole or your peeled almond butter, as an example. And so it's a great way to get things into your mouth without any carbohydrates. Next up, sardines and salmon roe. Now, I admit you're either a sardine lover or you're not a sardine level, but try sardines that have been peeled and deboned. They're readily available in most stores now. Even avid sardine haters, like my wife, actually will eat sardines that have been peeled and deboned and they're great to chop them up and throw them in a salad. Sardines are probably one of the best foods for improving omega-3 fat health in your body. And interestingly enough, the Acheroles, who have more centenarians per population than anywhere in the world, a little town that I visited south of Italy, they eat sardines and anchovies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And many experts believe that one of the reasons that they're so healthy is the health benefits of these tiny fishes. So 
get some sardines in your diet. Another great way for starting out is take yourself and make a lettuce wrap with avocado and peeled and deboned sardines and eat that like an egg roll. And you'll be surprised. You'll think it's pretty doggone good. Try to get these in at least twice a week into your diet. And believe it or not, there is no such thing as a farmed raised sardine. So they'll always be wild caught. So you don't have to look on the label. Okay, next up, allulose. Now, allulose is a true sugar. It was originally described in figs. It tastes like sugar, measures like sugar, but it adds no calories, but it has additional benefits. It's the first sweetener that's been declared to have prebiotic properties. That means your gut buddies eat allulose. You don't absorb it like other, for instance, sugar alcohols. It is not a sugar alcohol. It is a true sugar that has no calories. You can use it to sweeten yogurt. You can add it to a smoothie. It looks like it works by improving your gut microbiome, the diversity of gut microbiome, and it's now my preferred sugar. I like it so much that I even make it here at Gundry MD. It's also in our MCT oil coffee creamer. I like it that much. Does it have side effects like other sugar substitutes, particularly the sugar alcohols? No other than if you use a lot of it, and believe it or not, I have tried six tablespoons a day of allulose spread throughout the day. I've had no GI effects at all. Again, I don't tell you to try something unless I try it on myself personally. Finally, the chicory vegetables. Now, there are carbohydrates in chicory vegetables, and chicory vegetables, the most noticeable ones, the most recognizable one, are Belgian endive and radicchio. That's that kind of red, purple lettuce that people now see in the store. It's not a lettuce at all. It's a chicory. There is also frisee, which you sometimes see. I just had a big meal of puntarella, which is another chicory family vegetable that's available, particularly in Northern California. All of these contain a carbohydrate called inulin. And inulin is really one of our favorite foods for our gut buddies. And the great thing about inulin is it is not absorbed, but it's eaten by our gut buddies. There's a recent interesting paper that inulin may actually promote the making of plasmalogens, which are phospholipids, which are important for brain health. Now, Besides salad, are there other great ways to get more chicory in your diet? One of the cool, fun things is to grill chicory. Uh, also, peel off the Belgian endive and, like celery, use it as a dipping chip. Put it into guacamole. Use goat yogurt and flavor your yogurt with spices and then use this as a dipping chip. It's easy to do. You'll get the crunch you're looking for, but you'll get all the benefits of a inulin-laden food that has none of the carbohydrates that you're worried about. Recently, I had dinner using another form of radicchio, which is longer and thinner, called treviso. It was grilled. We wrapped it in prosciutto and then drizzled some balsamic vinegar over it sprinkled on some Parmesan cheese, abundanza. It's fantastico. This is a great way to get a no-carbohydrate food into your life. Try it. You'll like it. I think you're going to love this one. One of the keys to longevity and being thin is the amount of polyphenols in their diet. 